Hello guys, uh, my name is the Mr. Rockstar. Most of you know me from uh, XDA. Um, I've been promising you on my thread that I was going to be giving you guys um, a ROM review and some videos, but it's been kind of hard lately. We've had uh, a couple of updates um, this week. Uh, Juggernaut was updated from 3.69 to 3.7, and uh, the Beast Mod ROM was updated from 3.5 to 3.6 today, um, uh, which was Monday the 5th. So. Uh, we're going to go over some of those features. Uh, today we're going to do uh, the Beast Mod ROM 3.5. And then later in the week you can look for my videos um, on more of the ROM reviews. Which um, I'll be going over each ROM and its key features and the differences between all of them. And as well as you can be looking out for my new tutorial that will be coming out this week on how to root your phone. Um, and how to um, add uh, ROMs to your phone as well. So we'll be looking out for that. Uh, before we get started, I do have a T-Mobile phone up for grabs. It is a brand new spanking Samsung Galaxy S2 Hercules, and it is sexy, and it is for um, anyone who wants to win it, and I'll give you some more details in my next video, so look for that. <laughs> um, go ahead and subscribe, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get started. So, um... I have here the T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S2, codename Hercules. Uh, it's it's got a body armor on it, uh, the ghost armor. If you guys uh, want to know what it is, it's ghost armor. You can find it usually at um, at the mall is where I got mine, and um, it's pretty nice. It's grass resistant and uh, fairly uh, fairly durable. Um, and plus, I think the white is absolutely gorgeous. Which they I know that T-Mobile's got a um, a white Galaxy S2 coming out sometime in December of course right after we buy our damn phones so um, that that kinda does suck um, I wish they did exchanges but they don't bastards but um, let's go ahead and get started with this um, uh, like I said this is the Beast Mod ROM 3.5 with the Synergy kernel uh, f uh, version .08 it is uh, written by Melvin Melvin's no longer on XDA developers but Hopefully you can catch him on uh, the uh, droidtech.net, I believe it is. He's still updating his um, ROMs um, by Sammy Dr. 10, I believe his name is, um, and it's in the journal section of our um, of our T-Mobile section. But the key features are this: uh, when I flashed this ROM, I was I was fairly impressed, to be honest with you. This ROM is very smooth and it's very snappy, and you'll be able to tell when I go through this. What I'm going to do at first is I'm going to go through all the apps and I'm going to scroll and, and hit applications and scroll through everything and settings in the phone, just so you can see how snappy it is. And as you can tell when I slide my finger everything seems to be on target um, I, I I like that as you can tell I'm gonna open up close open up close close open up all that kinds of stuff I mean it's it's just absolutely gorgeous I mean you can tell how fast it is it's it's awesome I can only imagine how I can only imagine what 3.6 is I'm sorry let me scroll through that again it kinda of blurred out as you can tell, bam. Oh, I love it. I love the snappiness. It's absolutely gorgeous. But um, let's get started on this. Uh, the It is fully customized to the ice cream theme, which everybody loves. You got your blue clock over here. You got your notification um, Wi-Fi notification at like little icon there and the data connectivity icon it's all blue um, even the dialer is gorgeously blue I love that it's got like a neon effect to it I, I like that um, we got the the pull down transparency which is um, awesome this is one of my favorite things about this is um, the blue uh, ice cream theme transparency if you look at the top you've got the uh, notification bar kind of scrolls with little cool icons on there like a reboot icon shutdown icon flashlight uh, rotate and, and s the normal icons and such um, that's cool uh, about this ROM the only con that I have found on this ROM was the Gmail I've opened up my Gmail app several times and I have to refresh it Two, you know, once or twice to be able to get my notifications to come in. Um, I don't get notifications on the Gmail. That's probably the only bug that I have found about this. Um, but 
like I said, um, it, there's still 3.6, so hopefully that'll be fixed in that. Um, and I've had a couple of other people say the same thing, but that is the only con about this this ROM, guys. I mean, it's it's gorgeous, as you can see. And anybody who flashes it, you'll be able to tell how smooth and how snappy it is. Um, it does still have the over oh, the over scrolling, um, and I'll, let me show you that, guys. Uh, let me get in here. As you can tell, you can see how um, it's still got that over scrolled glow to it. Get all the way down. I like that. Um, it's that's from stock, but as I said, it's a good, it's a cool thing to have. Um, it does see. It also has uh, the CRT off animation. I wish it did have the CRT on um, as well, but it doesn't. So um, you know, hopefully we can look up, we can look forward to that uh, in the future. Um, to either either one of our ROMs, I'm not sure um, exactly if Melvin's going to add it or not, but I hope he does. Um, the difference between this 3.5 version and the 3.0 version of Beast Mod um, and 3.0, uh, the lock screen was uh, transparent. It was really cool, and I wish he kept that, but he didn't. And also, the percentage up here on the battery was listed. Um, it's not in 3.5, but what's also cool about 3.5 is you can flash it. All you gotta do is flash the, the percentage um, zip file that he has on um, the page, and you can add it back on there. Um, and, and that's it. And the cool things he also has, um, he has also um, a bunch of other things that you can flash, like the keyboards. Like as you can see on the keyboard, this is one of the flashable, uh, this is the gingerbread keyboard. Um, I love it. it. It goes with the theme. It's got blue and I mean it's, 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 it's fairly cool. Um, he also has an ice cream theme keyboard which is just as cool. And then um, as you can see here you can choose between Android, gingerbread, Samsung, and Swipe. So all of them are there. Some of the ROMs don't have that. Um, like in Juggernaut and the Eagle's Blood ROM, those are completely stocked with some features, but this one is fully customized, uh, like I said, with the ice cream thing, so it's, it's fairly nice as well. Um, let's get into the kernels. Uh, the, the kernels, this kernel and the bullet kernel that can be flashed over this ROM um, are both awesome. Both are smooth, both, bo um, both are fast, but um, the bullet kernel I would say is just a little bit smoother and just a little bit faster, but we're going to do the synergy kernel today since it comes stocked with the ROM. Uh, this The synergy kernel can uh, be overclocked to 1.83. It comes stocked, I think, uh, with 1.6. The stock phone um, the stocked kernel on our uh, phone uh, is 1.5 max dual core, but this can be set up to, as you can see, the stock on mine is 1.6 is what it came with on, on this ROM, but it can be um, overclocked all the way up to 1.83. There's no need to do that. I honestly don't see no need to, to overclock your phone all the way to 1.83, but you can um, because uh, 1.6 is fairly fast enough, even 1.7. Um, even even 1.5 is still great and fast for this phone and uh, you'll be able to tell when you do your uh, benchmarks and stuff like that. <laughs> I wouldn't rely too much on your benchmarks. Um, I'm going to go over them right now and I'm going to give you um, you know, all the scores and stuff but don't, I'm going to say again, please don't rely on the numbers. Um, and don't be a number hog. I'm telling you, numbers don't mean anything. The quadrants don't scores don't mean anything. What matters is what's in this phone and how it feels when you play with it. Um, that sounds really, really gross, but um, it's how <laughs> it's how you play with your phone that matters, and how it feels when you play with it. <laughs> but um, when you scroll, it feels good. Oh my God, that still sounds bad. But when you scroll, it looks nice. There we go. That sounds better, and um, it, it still gets a good feel. So, um, uh, I, I I would just honestly, I, I would not go over one point one point eight to be or one point six one point five to be honest with you. Um, that should be completely fast enough. And don't and don't rely on the numbers. Like I said, the quadrants don't mean anything. But those of you who want to know the quadrants, um, the quadrants um, I did the quadrant standard I did three times, and I took the basically the average between those, um, and I got about thirty nine hundred. Uh, that's very good, uh, to be honest with you, with the one point six. 
uh, standard um, clocking uh, to get 3,900 as an average. That's that's fairly good. And Ninemark, um, let me find the Ninemark. It's Ninemark 2 is what I did. And as you can tell there, I got 54.5. That was just my last one. I want to have to say the average that I got was probably 56, uh, 57, around there. Um, and that's that's still good for this ROM. Um, the speed test, I got anywhere from 10.8 megabytes per second to 11 megabytes per second. Everybody um, will get different just because um, it depends on where you're at and where your towers are and stuff like that. So everybody's will be different, but as you can see there, I get between 10.92, 10.76, and 11.03. So that's about where my speed test um, lie on this phone. Um, and Tutu, I believe is how you say it. Um, I got, when I averaged it out, I got about 7,000 as an average. On this one right now, you can see that it, it says only um, 6,065, 6065. Um, that was just my last score, but I would average it out to probably say about seven, 7,000, uh, maybe 7,100 uh, because that, that's about what I got, and that's that's pretty good for this phone as well. Um, on the Velamo Qualcomm, I did it three times again, and um, the first time I got about 988. Let me go ahead and pull that one up as well. Let me see. On the Velamo, as you can tell, uh, let me scoot it up a little closer. It says 988. That was my last one, uh, or my first one, and. Um, and my last one, and I think the middle one was like 1,200. I mean, it was it was it was really high. So I mean, I would average that out about about a thousand, eleven hundred, and that's really good for the llama. I mean, still when you can when you go to compare it, I mean, you're gonna have scores all the way at the top. I mean, it's it's awesome. So I mean, you have a fast ROM here, great phone, uh, good developers, ice cream themed. Um, and we're going to get more into um, like the CM7, the Juggernaut, and uh, Eagle's Blood, and all the other ROMs, and all the other kernels in their next videos. And be sure you stay tuned because I still do got a free Galaxy S2 T Mobile version Hercules to give away. Um, so make sure you do stay tuned to that. Hit the subscribe button, and I hope to see you guys uh, soon. If you have any questions, any comments, be sure to leave your comments and questions in the comment section. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching, and uh, um, we'll take it easy.